filtration in this module you will learn about the separation of mixtures by the technique of filtration do you know how your mother makes cottage cheese at home to make it she adds some drops of lime water to the boiling milk to get a mixture containing chunks of cheese and a liquid then she separates the pieces of cheese from the liquid by using a muslin cloth. Similarly, you must have also seen your mother preparing and serving tea. In this case, she separates tea leaves from tea by using a sieve. Separations like cheese from the liquid and tea leaves from tea are examples of same separating technique called filtration. Filtration is a technique used for separating insoluble solid particles from a fluid by means of a filter. Like the muslin cloth and the sieve in these examples are used as filters. Always remember that the pore size of the filter should be smaller than the solid particles but bigger than the fluid particles. As a result, the fluid particles pass through the filter leaving the solid particles retained on the filter itself. Thus, the solid particles get separated from the fluid. Now, fix this cone-shaped filter paper onto a funnel which is already fixed on a stand. Keep a beaker below the funnel and then pour the mixture of sand and water in the funnel. You will observe that the water will pass through the filter paper and will be collected in the beaker. On the other hand, sand particles which are bigger than the pores of filter paper will be retained on the filter paper. In this way, the mixture is separated. The filtered water so obtained is called filtrate whereas the sand collected over the filter paper is called residue. In this module you have learned, filtration is a technique used for separating insoluble solid particles from a fluid by means of a filter. For example, separation of tea leaf from prepared tea using a sieve. The pore size of the filter being used should be smaller than the solid particles but bigger than the fluid particles. As a result of which, the fluid particles pass through the filter whereas the solid particles retain on the filter. In case the difference in the size of solid particles and that of fluid particles is very small, then a filter with very small pore size is required. Filter papers which are generally used in laboratories contain very small pores. The filtered fluid obtained at the end of a filtration process is called filtrate whereas the solid retained on the filter is called residue. 